What up, y'all? It's uh, T Biz here, and I'm joined by my good friend Overlord of Overlord Toy Reviews and Overlord Productions, which is, I guess, uh, I don't know, in hiatus, but anyways. Movie channel. But yeah, um, we're gonna we're gonna both take a look somewhat, or he's gonna vicariously through me take a look at the um, cause he's behind me, but I don't know if you can see it, but uh, but we're gonna look at Darth Vader, and um, and I finally got him, by the way, and I got him here in Austin, Texas, at Monkey See Monkey Do. Um, I'll leave a link to their website to check out, and um, and yeah, or maybe just their Instagram. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe just their website. But anyhow, I'm stoked to get this. I paid 25 bucks for it, you know, tax and uh, plus tax, and you know, I wanted it in the blue card, you know, and not like the the new version that's going to come out after the movie, I guess, or soon. I don't know when it's coming out, but. I don't want that one, and I, I do want the exclusive Walgreens, but I want the damn original Vader, so, oops, but anyways, <laughs> and I got it, so I'm stoked, and we're all gonna, you know, take a look at him, and I just, you know, I know there's thousands of reviews of this figures, there's ups and downs, there's nitpicks, there's this and that, you know, people like them, don't like them, have their disappointments or whatever, but, you know, I just love Darth Vader anyway, so I'm not going to complain, I'm not going to complain, especially after not being able to find him for a long time, but sometimes you just got to dig around in your backyard, and, uh, you should be able to, you know, find him, uh, I mean, dig him out, but, yeah, so far he's a pretty hefty figure, nice cloth cape, it's a good chunk of plastic right there, I tell you, I tell you what, boy, and, um, Let's see where I lost his lightsaber, because his lightsaber seemed to fly out somewhere. Oh, here it is. Whoop. Oh, my God. My desk is a mess, if you could just see it. But, uh, I think Wampire's seen it, how bad it is. But, um, here's the, the Dark Lord saber. Right there. It's very cool. Looks very classic. And, uh, yeah, just pops in and out. There's the hilt, obviously, in nice detail. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very cool. Just pops back in like so. I want to take a look at this bad boy. Yeah, he looks sick. I like this figure. I don't see any reason to complain at all. Some people will be like, head's too big, this is too that, that is too this. But um, that, that's whatever. That's, that's whatever, man. That's, I like it so far. It's got good, got good articulation. It's got the good little like rocker and pivot and all that and stuff on the feet. It's got the double knees. It's got, let's see, the shoulders. There's a little bit be wanting on the shoulders, but his arms do raise up. And plus, he's a big, giant, robotic dude, so he's not going to be doing like you know, he's not going to be like a yoga instructor. You know, he's not going to have that kind of flexibility because he's is a walking. Menacing robot, but I love the soft goods and the waist twist. You got the chain right there on the top of the cape, right there. Comes off to reveal Anakin Skywalker himself. Looks pretty cool. Eyes aren't too bad. Eyes aren't too bad at all. It's very awesome. Very very good detail. Very good sculpt. Good sculpt right here on his like breathing mechanism. That's really, really good. That's probably the best I've ever seen in a figure this size. Plus, these are the only figure this size for uh, Vader. And good detail on the helmet, too, on the inside. If you can see that, it's kind of hard to see. But there's some really good detail on the inside. So, for me, I don't really see any reason to complain. It's a pretty good figure. Looks awesome. Looks scary. Looks menacing. Um, like, like I've said before, when I was a little kid, I used to decapitate all my Darth Vader's. My three inch ones because I was scared of Darth Vader. I thought he was evil. And um, up until I was probably about four or five, I would do that until my parents told me they would stop buying me Darth Vader's. And, uh, and so, whoops. And so I quit doing that so I could actually have a Darth Vader because they were going to stop buying him after a while. And uh, let's get this sucker. Come on, Vader, stand. Anyways, but yeah. And so I had to stop doing that. But, um, but if I had a Vader's this detailed when I was little, he, yeah, he's just as scary because. Believe it or not, even the um, the 12 inch or what 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 version was that? It was like the the gigantic Kenner version was even pretty scary looking back then when I was like that small. So yeah, but this is a formidable figure. 
just really great really really great glad I got him I think my desktop just bailed on me so overlord is gone he is he's missing so he's gonna have to watch this the rest of this later <laughs> to check it out but let's get his saber in his hand got a saber so yeah pretty cool dig it dig it a whole bunch this is a good figure It's a good, good figure. I like it a lot. He's nice indeed. And I think it was that I was looking at um, Darth Phoenix or Tony. I was looking at his uh, Instagram, and he, he had a display with all his Black Series out, and they just look sick. All of them just look sick all together. Wow, you can really see the mess on my desk in this reflection. That's what's funny. But anyhow, um, yeah. I saw his collection of all the Black Series had, and I was just, like, blown away because um, they just all look good together. They all look good. And I've been kind of annoyed and been like, oh, I might not want to pick up any Black Series anymore because they're so hard to find. I want to get Vader. I want to find Darth Maul, some certain other ones. But, um, but yeah, since I went to Monkey See, Monkey Do, they had them all over there. They had, they had like, three or four of these guys of the Vader. They had Balfe. They had IG-88, Commander Cody, the... Uh, Clone Trooper, I was a sergeant with the red stripe or whatever. They had a ton of them, so yeah. Sometimes you just gotta do some digging in your own backyard, and yeah, and that's what I did. So stoked to find them, but yeah, this is a great figure. Love the detail on the cape. Love how it's kind of weighted right there, at least right here. So that's kind of nice, and just oh, just awesome. I love how they did that right there because it kind of helps uh, weigh it down and stuff, and. Uh, just a great figure. Just a great figure all around. Really nice detail. Just awesome. It's awesome. I'm just glad I'm able to get my five two cents. I mean, not my five two cents, but I give my two cents on this figure because it's been it's been reviewed a ton already, and um, it took forever to get it, and I got it, and I'm glad I didn't have to spend fifty to thirty, forty bucks on it, you know, on eBay and stuff. So that was really cool. And uh, yeah, just a marvelous, marvelous figure. Can't wait to get some photos of him. And um. Yeah, I need to leave a link for my Instagram. Like I said, what was going on in my last video? I'll go ahead and do that now. And um, yeah, this guy's great. If you don't have him, get him. He's just awesome. Just he's a fantastic figure. I don't see any reason to complain about it. Everybody's gonna find some odd little shortcomings here and there with the figure, but this guy is just rad. No complaints. Complaint free. He's awesome. I love him. Anyhow, y'all have a good one. May the force be with you. And yeah, looking forward to that new movie. All right, later, y'all.